Hey guys, it's the Ramos Online here, and if you are new to my channel, then you probably found my channel through Velicify's feature, then I have to apologise now for the first two videos you see on my channel being a clip from the anime and a live stream. These are the videos that make up the majority of my channel, not including the Wonderlock, so yeah, these are probably the videos you come to my channel for. So I lead with Crocodile, and my opponent, who's essentially my rival now, Machiku, leads with Gengar, who I know is Focus Sashed. I go for knockoff, taking him down to the sash and knocking it off. He goes for Giga Drain. Did not know Gengar could get Giga Drain. Apparently, it is a transfer move. Didn't know you could get that in Gen 5. Maybe it's before Gen 5, who knows. Anyway, a second knockoff is going to finish off the Gengar, and I'm going to get a Moxie boost. And that is the first of three walls in my way, and you'll see what I mean in a moment. His next Pokemon is Gyarados, and I know I can't stay in here because his Gyarados is also a Moxie Gyarados, so yeah. I go into Gardena here, and he goes straight for the Waterfall. I was predicting the Waterfall. Um, Ice Fang was very, was very likely, but uh, I predicted the Waterfall. I get the predict right, and he withdraws Gyarados on the turn I went for Quiver Dance. He's actually going to go out into Vanilla, who is my shiny, um, my shiny Gudra reject or reject, I guess, which I gave to him. So he's got a shiny, beautiful Gudra there. I go, as you see, I go, go for that. Um, uh, go, I go for the Quiver Dance there. I'm actually going for the Healing Wish now because I really looked at both our teams and I really realised that Gardena would not have much use in this battle. So I just went for the Healing Wish to go back into my Crocodile, who is my Kassara, just to heal back to full, to basically undo the damage that Gengar did to me. Which is brilliant, because you'll see later on, that really makes a big difference. He's going to withdraw Vanilla here and go back into his Gyarados. Um, I was kind of predicting him to do that, so I went for the knockoff. And here is where I realised he's actually holding the Mega Stone, but it doesn't Mega Evolve right away. He told me after the match that this is more of a Troll Gyarados that can Mega Evolve, but it's more of a knockoff counter. So I just go into Fuwa, who is my physical tank, and he's going to go for the Waterfall. Come on, Fuwa the, f the Fur Throw. If you guys haven't seen the videos I have of my Fur Throw on my channel, go and check them out. Fur Throw needs more love. It is an amazing physical wall. It stops the biggest, baddest physical attackers in their tracks. So I go for the Cotton Guard as he switches back into Gudra, uh, the vanilla the, the Gudra. I don't want to take anything because I can't take special hits on my um, on my fur throw. So I go back into Kassara and luckily enough he goes for Sludge Wave. Not entirely sure why, but as a result, that's not very effective. It does get a crit though, uh, which is a little bit annoying. He's gonna withdraw Vanilla again. Again, this is a move I predicted, so I went for the Stab knockoff. I knew it wouldn't do too much damage, but hey, it's Stab and it lets me hit that Gyarados. And I am scarfed, so I'm going to outspeed and go for a last knockoff, taking down this Gyarados. It really didn't do anything in this match. And that is now two of the main walls in this uh, in Machiku's team down. Talon Flame comes out, and this is the last wall. If you haven't figured it out yet, yes, I want to be spamming Earthquake, which is my hardest hitting move. And with all these levitating and flying type Pokemon, I can't go for it. So I go into Fuwa. Um, just to eat this Brave Bird. Unfortunately, I don't have any Cotton Guards on me at the moment. And I make a huge misplay and go for the Cotton Guard here, rather than my Resto Chesto. Big mistake, as I could have stalled out this uh, Talon Flame a lot longer, but I wasn't thinking properly, so here goes the Cotton Guard for nothing, because I will be fainting the next turn to another Brave Bird, unless he decided to switch out, so I did go for the rest here, in case he wanted to preserve his Talon Flame, he didn't. So, Talon, um, so my fur throw is unfortunately going to faint here. But his Talon Flame has been taking a lot of recoil damage. Um, it's now about three quarters. So I go into Candy, my shiny Ambipom, for the uh, Technician Boost Life Orb Fake Out. That does a lot of damage. Unfortunately, isn't enough to KO, but I know Talon Flame will be dying. Uh, to its next Brave Bird. I will be losing Ambipom, but I really looked at Magiku's team, and I've faced it a few times now, and I know which Pokemon on my team were sackable, and really, Kassara was my win condition. If I could keep that Crocodile alive, I was guaranteed to win this battle. So down goes the Talon Flame. That is the last of the walls gone. I can now go into Kassara and start Moxie boosting, Earthquaking, 
this is going to be a bad time for Magiku now. He's let his three essentially walls to Kasara fall down and uh, an EQ is almost going to take Vanilla out. It's a two hit KO. He does go for the D-Pulse and that isn't going to be enough to finish off Kasara because uh, it's, it's not a... Uh, it's not an offensive Gudra, and this Earthquake is going to be enough to finish off Vanilla, and down she goes, and I get a Moxie boost. And his last two Pokemon are a Nidoking and an Excadrill. Uh, the Excadrill is Scarf, but I'm pretty sure uh, a Crocodile outspeeds it anyway. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much the battle. You guys can tell what's going to happen from here on. So let me know what you guys think about the video, um, give it a thumbs up, or if you hate the video, thumbs it down, but make sure you tell me why in the comment section below, you know, why you felt the need to thumb the video down, so to help me improve to become a better YouTuber, and if you haven't already, uh, feel free to click that subscribe button, in the bottom right hand corner is my friend code, feel free to add that, and feel free to add me on Skype as well, Jim Leader Ramos. Anyway, that's all from me for today, I'll see you guys in the next video.